Cisco's is the largest berry distributor in the world and has a history of repressing union organizing. They also supply berries from farms in San Quentin, Mexico, where over 30,000 farm workers went on strike this March over $7 a day wages, widespread sexual abuse, and child labor, and are continuing to fight for fair treatment. After Sakuma broke multiple agreements made during mediated negotiation sessions and sent private security guards to the workers' labor camp, Familius Unidas voted to endorse a consumer boycott of Sakuma berries and the label of their major distributor, Driscoll's Berries. Since then, they have continued their struggle with strikes and successful lawsuits against retaliatory actions by the company in both 2014 and 2015 and are now stronger than ever. Don't buy Driscoll's Berries. Farmworker families in Burlington, Washington are currently waging a historic struggle for a union contract. They're calling upon people who eat food to support their struggle. In 2013, Familias Unidas por la Justica, Families United for Justice, an independent farmworker union formed out of a series of strikes in response to inhuman production standards, wage theft, denial of lunch and rest breaks, racial harassment, and other continual abuses farmworkers have experienced while working for Sakuma Brothers Berry Farm. Farmworker families in both Washington and Mexico are asking people to stop buying Driscoll berries until they have legally binding union contracts to ensure that they have justice and dignity in the workplace. People all over North America are taking action in solidarity with this movement. Tell your local grocery store manager that you support the boycott and ask them to remove Driscoll's berries from their shelves. For more information, go to boycottsakumaberries.com.